Hey everybody, Steve here and I am in my uh, Chicagoland store and I am showing you an absolutely incredible, incredible instrument. This is one of only four Billy Gladstone snare drums that were made with bird's eye maple and gold hardware and this is the finest example of the four drums that was ever made. This drum was originally made in 1950 for John Noonan, a uh, very, very well-known symphony percussionist. Uh, John sold that drum to the current owner who has owned it for decades. It's a 63-year-old drum and it basically looks like it just came out of the box. It's incredible. Uh, bird's eye maple, 24 karat gold plated hardware. Uh, there is a sound file on the website that explains the drum in uh, much, much more detail. Uh, this is absolutely the finest known example in bird's eye and chrome. If I had to call, uh, if I had to call into account the rarity of Gladstone drums, the rarest and most desirable would be Billy's personal drum, which was a 7x14 gold lacquer drum. That was his personal drum. That would be the rarest. Next to that, I would count the 5x14, the only 5x14 that was ever made. Uh, that's exceedingly rare, and that was actually in White Marine Pearl, and I sold that drum uh, about two, three years ago. Uh, after that, I would rank this drum as the next in line, because one, it is one of only four that were bird's eye with gold hardware and that it is the finest of those four drums. It's in superb original condition, absolutely phenomenal, has all the Gladstone features including the three-way tuning which I've explained uh, in the listing on the website so I won't go into detail here. The badge of course says that it was specially designed for John Noonan by Billy Gladstone 1950 and that's engraved. It has the three-way tuning of course, Billy's simple strainer, the drum sounds incredible. It's absolutely remarkable. In addition, this particular example is uh, plastic heads with uh, wire snares, gold-plated wire snares. And these wire snares, if you notice, there is a coating on the ends of the snares where the snares go over the head into the butt plate and into the strainer side. And that was designed to allow the snare wire sound to be more focused toward the center of the drum. It was one of Billy's masterful inventions as well. This is of course the uh, the traditional thin three-ply shells that Billy used on these drums. Everything is absolutely original. The drum is completely superb. There is one, and I pointed it out um, in a photo, there is one very very slight finish split on the uh, outer veneer right here. It's very very small and that is literally the only cosmetic item on the drum. Again, 63 years old, an incredible instrument, sounds unbelievable. Uh, 6x14 is the size of this drum. Bird's eye maple, 24 karat gold hardware. One of the rarest drums that you'll ever come across. Contact me at vintagedrums at AOL.com. And, of course, you can see this on the website at maxwelldrums.com. Thanks.